Come on. So, I'm leaving fitness culture early. Didn't finish my workout. The reason is because can't get a hold of Morgan. It's been two hours since she landed. We were worried that customs might hold her up. Her visa is for, it's like in order to leave Australia, she had to say she was gonna be gone longer than three months. So we got a flight for her going back in February, but the issue is, is her US visa doesn't allow her to stay that long. Australia wants her to stay longer. So we were hoping that it would work out if we had a return flight, but I don't know, I'm worried now. Calling US Customs again here. How are they not answering? Just looked up a different number. We're gonna try this one. I guess it's only 8.30 in LA. She landed at about 6.30. No, a little bit earlier, like 5.50. PD secretary is not answering. This mailbox is full and cannot accept... Mailbox is messages. full and they're not answering. Awesome. Awesome. To enter up <sighs> Morgan was... She flew into LA this morning at 6 a.m. She texted me and then she was going into customs. Have not heard from her since. It's almost 3 o'clock now. Uh, she's been detained is what it sounds like. She didn't get on her flight to Vegas like she's supposed to. So have not heard from her in eight plus hours. Um, they won't tell me if she's detained, but I saw that her flight that was supposed to be going back to Australia in February was changed to tonight. So I don't know why they would make her when she left Australia, we had all the right paperwork. So just got off the phone with Morgan. She's uh, getting sent back to Australia tonight, which sucks because she flew 15 hours, landed, got detained, will be detained for about 14, 15 hours, and then has to fly back 15 hours. So I feel awful for her. We even had an immigration lawyer that looked at our stuff. We thought we were good, but anyhow, I just want to update you guys. Thanks for the, the nice messages. So a little update. For you guys, uh, last I talked to you was a couple days ago. I was filming a vlog, doing my workout, excited. Morgan landed, I heard from her, boom. She goes into customs and I don't hear anything from her. I've called her, I've texted her. She went in, like I said, she landed at like 5.50. They couldn't enter to the airport to customs until 6 a.m. That's when customs opens. So she said, hey, we're on the tarmac. I'm gonna be heading in here soon text you when I'm through customs. I said, oh, great, I'm so excited to see you. Um, you know, booked her flight to Vegas, was gonna pick her up in Vegas, because she would have had to quarantine if I would have picked her up in LA. So, boom, you know, thinking 7.30, 8.30 is gonna hear some, didn't hear anything, texted her. Hey, just wanted to see how you're doing. Nine o'clock comes around. Okay, babe, starting to get worried. 10 o'clock rolls around. Call the airport. Uh, you know, we don't know, we don't, we don't, we don't know where she's at or we can't tell you, you know, if customs has her. I then proceed for the next three hours. I'm frantic. 12 o'clock rolls around. It's now six hours basically since she landed. Uh, I'm finding, just calling Long Beach, calling any number for the US Customs and Border Patrol. I'm calling everyone. No one's answering their damn phone. Not, not even an automated messaging, messaging service. Now this is Black Friday, it's the day after Thanksgiving, whatever, but this is a government agency that doesn't answer their phone call. There's not a messaging service. Like I call at least 15 different numbers, each one of them probably 10 different times. Um, I get a hold of two or three people that give me a number that then puts me into a place that no one answers. I finally get a hold of through to someone saying, oh, well, if she's been detained, we can't tell you if she has. If she's been detained, she'll get a phone call. But if, if you're detained, you get your phone taken away from you. But she'll have one phone call, like a criminal. Um, and so now I, I call the police, the airport LAX police twice and tell them, hey, I'm gonna have to file a missing person report. My girlfriend's been gone now eight hours. She was supposed to land in Vegas. Time has now passed. She's nowhere to be found. She hasn't messaged me since she went to customs. 
well, just give it a little bit more time. We can't tell, we, we don't know if there's, if she's there, we can't go into customs. That's not our jurisdiction. I understand the police don't have jurisdiction in a, in a, in a federal um, office like that. So they couldn't tell me anything. They finally give me a number. I try calling it again, talk to someone saying, well, if she's there, she'll give you a call. They wouldn't let me file a missing persons report. Finally, Morgan gets a call and I just lose it. By this time, I've talked to her parents. I've talked to her, her friends back in Australia and I am just a mess. I've just out of frustration cried out of just being desperate to know where your girlfriend is at. Um, meanwhile, I have people that, you know, I had similar situations talk about how customs agents can just be a dick. Um, so anyhow, I talked to her briefly. She calls me from like a payphone or a, a phone that the customs agents have and we get to talk for like five minutes. Uh, says they're basically putting her back on a flight that night. They're putting her back into back to Australia. Worst part is, is she did basically all the paperwork right. She probably was a little bit too honest and said that she was going to change her visa once she was here for three months. Uh, but Morgan's just a very honest person. So in her doing that, they decided not to let her in because she was here earlier in the year and stayed longer than her visa allowed, even though she got an extension, but had to stay longer because of COVID. So detained, she ended up being detained for 16 hours. Her flight was at 10.30 that night and was detained from 6.30 in the morning till 10 o'clock at night. I don't even know how many hours that is. It's like, it's like 16 hours. Um, they escorted, to, escorted her to the gate as soon as she passed through the gate, they then gave her back her phone. Basically, once she was on the plane, they wouldn't even give her back her phone as they walked her to the gate. How crazy is that? Not to mention, if you guys wanna see the whole ordeal and how it went down, go watch Morgan's video. Customs agent was just a biatch, and I realize, you know, people have to do their jobs, but there's, there's just a special place in hell for make people's lives difficult when you're a federal agent like that. Anyhow, um, so Morgan, Worst part of it is, I keep on saying worst part. There's a lot of bad parts. She lands in Australia. I talk to her as she gets on the plane for like 25 minutes. Again, I felt awful. I felt like I, I just, it's so debilitating. It's such a helpless feeling when the person you love and the person you care about more than anything else in this world is been taken and there's nothing you can do to find out if she's okay. You know, it's, it's the most helpless feeling and the four or five hours I spent trying to locate her, I was a disaster. And then even after I talked to her and then didn't get to talk to her for another six or seven hours, it was just this helpless feeling of not knowing if this person that you would do anything for is, is alive, is, you know, of course, I think, oh, she's in customs, she's gonna be okay, they're gonna treat her well. U.S. Customs people can pretty much do whatever they want. You're not a U.S. citizen. You don't have any rights, basically. And there were horror stories that I got in my DMs from people that have come through that. So everyone out there that has had those issues, my heart goes out to you because it was a nightmare. So talk to her as she got on her flight, as she was on the plane. We had about 20 minutes to talk before the plane took off. No cell phone service, obviously, on the plane. No Wi-Fi. Lands in Australia. She checks into her quarantine. They take her from Sydney, escorted to a hotel that's been taken over by the government of Australia, and you're put in your room for 14 days. You don't leave that hotel room, a normal hotel room. We've all been in a hotel. Picture that hotel room that's on in your head right now. You stay in that room for 14 days. So that's where Morgan's at right now. She's on day three of that. Day four now, maybe. Has to be there for 14 days. We're trying everything that we can do to get me over there now. She can't come back under that ESTA waiver program, but there are some other visas that, we, that are, we're trying to get, but they're gonna take at least like six months. So I'm trying to get over there. Obviously with COVID right now, Australia's super locked down. I have an Australian visa, but I need to get a Corona, basically a waiver for their travel ban. They have a travel ban, so I need a waiver for that to get into the country where I would then quarantine. So if I can't leave the country in a few days, we're going to wait till after Christmas because I would be in quarantine for Christmas and my birthday. And basically, who wants to be in quarantine for their birthday and Christmas? I would still go if I could get out right before Christmas, like the 24th, and see her. I don't care necessarily about my birthday. I've had enough of them. But um, ultimately, 
Morgan has handled this extremely well. To be honest, I probably haven't, that day, I, and I can say this as a man, I don't cry a whole lot, but that helpless frustration and just upset, my sadness and fear turned to me just being mad at the world, mad at customs, mad at everyone just wanting to know where my girlfriend was at. Finally, when I got to hear her voice, I just lost it. So um, definitely will be something we remember for forever and hopefully one day tell our kids, tell our grandkids about how the US Customs agents were dickheads. Um, but 2020, everyone's got problems, everyone's going through things. Um, yeah, so leads me to right now, I'm trying to get over to Australia sometime December or January. We have a project that Morgan and I are launching together. Um, this right here is part of that project that I'm actually wearing them. Can't talk about it. Uh, we were supposed to launch when she came over. We were gonna do photo shoots and all these things together. Um, for the website and then launch in December. Obviously that's not happening now. Um, hopefully we get, a, get together sometime, launch in January, but I'm super excited for you guys to see that. One thing I'm grateful for, magic spoon, eating my cereal. This is basically what I've lived on. During COVID, my life's an absolute shit show. It's 10.22 at night. And this is probably my fifth bowl of Magic Spoon. I don't really feel too bad about it. If you guys have never seen me before talk about Magic Spoon, I do love their stuff. But anyhow, I should probably go to bed. Hopefully uh, things get better. Hopefully we do an update where I can tell you, hey, I'm going to Australia. Hey, here's the new brand we're launching. Hey, whatever, I don't know. But anyhow, I'm gonna head to bed. I appreciate you guys. And uh, I should probably go work out one of these days. Honestly, Magic Spoon, you're the only reason I still have abs. With COVID, because I can't taste a whole lot, I want treats, I want sweets. This is, what do we got? Four and a half grams fat, 10 carbs, 11 grams protein. That's not bad when considering it's a treat which is why I eat a whole lot of it. I stress eat. I'm one of those people that when I feel stressed or when I feel anxiety, I eat food. And if I have bad food in the house, I'm going to eat it. So they sent me eight boxes. I now have four. I'm going to bed. I'm gonna FaceTime Morgan. Let's actually FaceTime her together. Hey Siri, FaceTime Morgan. Making a FaceTime call to Morgan Rose Maroney. Oh, that's you guys. You guys can see yourself. Right in the lens. Sometimes I feel like, sometimes I feel like you're not gonna answer. I'm like, what is she doing? She's stuck in a hotel room. Well, I was watching You're watching Gossip Girls. She loves Gossip Girls. She, she loves Gossip Girls. She loves it. I just was telling everyone kind of about, go watch her vlog if you want all the, the crazy details. Doing a little life update. When are we gonna tell them about Brand X? Um, when Brand X is ready to be spoken about? <sighs> is it like Baltimore? <laughs> oh, we can't say his name. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Harry Potter too. I actually told everyone that I also had COVID as well. The cat's out of the bag. Yeah, 2020 has been a real, cat killer 2020 has been your worst year my worst year not your worst year yeah it's been my worst year i was gonna say you haven't seen my ass in six months it best be your worst year oh uh, that's a lie Ooh. i see it on facetime a lot babe i love the way you eat that meat stick this film is presented in its original uncut version it is rated tv ma lsv it is intended only for mature audiences viewer discretion advised meat stick my girlfriend is a weapon though, I'll give you that. I love you. Oh, I love you too. All right, well, I'm going to bed. This hair, babe, you still love me with this hair? Yeah. Oh, oh it's so disgusting. That's your part coming back. It's so gross though. Babe, I really want to tell them about Brand X. I did show them this. No, so, you're not telling them. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna tell them. You actually I, I did show them this. Secrets. Do you think Why they'll know? Why would you even show them that? Because they're just fabric swatches. Babe, you gotta give the people what they want. Yeah, they already know that. How do they know that? Because you mentioned it. No, I did not. You just did. Babe, maybe we were making maybe we were making freaking bags. Colored bags, and now you said clothing. Whatever. Babe, you know what I'm eating? Look what I'm eating. More cereal? Magic Spoon. That's all he eats, guys. I started out with eight boxes of Magic Spoon, and I'm down to four. I've eaten, I, I eat a box of Magic Spoon a day, basically. Oh my gosh. All right, babe. I love you. Thanks for uh, being part of the vlog. I'm gonna go eat some Magic Spoon. And my phone just died. This happens way too often. My phone dies when I talk to Morgan because my phone, we always talk at the end of the night and it's late. Anyhow, thanks for watching the vlog. I probably need a haircut. Be nice in the comments. I can't take any more hate in 2020. Peace.